Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I will be reviewing the Mattel WWE Elite Series 33 Flashback Junkyard Dog figure. And this is Junkyard Dog's very first uh, figure in the Mattel line. As it says, first time the line on his box. I imagine uh, he probably won't have any more figures anytime soon. Um, but maybe he'll have a future basic in his red tights or something. Uh, but I know you never know. Um, but I was still excited to get this figure. He was never a favorite of mine. I don't know if I've ever seen him wrestle, honestly, as I was so young. Um, if he was even wrestling still around the time when I was very little. Um, but I love collecting the flashbacks. And I know he's a pretty, pretty popular guy for his time. Uh, so I was really excited to get it. And the, the um, metal chain accessory is really cool as well. Uh, so anyway... Um, I know this review is a little late, as this series has been at Walmart, Target, Toys R Us, and Kmart. So this set really hit uh, everywhere. It's on Amazon. It's you can get on RingsideCollectibles.com. Um, but I know this review is a little later, so you might have trouble finding him at the store still by the time you see this, or he might be clogging shelves, as I tend to see this set everywhere. So anyway. Uh, let's take a look at him fresh in the packaging. As you can see, it says highly detailed action figure at the top. Elite Series number 33. There's a WWE logo. There's Junkyard Dog, and there's his metal chain on the side. It says includes dog collar and metal chain. And first time the line, there's an Elite Flashback logo. Picture of Junkyard Dog, and there's a little choking hazard due to his accessories. It says Junkyard Dog in Series number 33. On this side, it says series number 33, Junkyard Dog, and there's a picture of him at the bottom. And then on this side is a cool artwork that I like. I uh, like the black and white effect. And um, on the back of the box, there's a larger image of Junkyard Dog. There's a Elite Flashback logo. It says Junkyard Dog, and the outfit is based around uh, 1986. Yes, I wasn't even born yet when this is uh, based on so um, but anyway he uh, was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2004 and then there's some other info about him there it says recreate the action of WWE also on the set is Roman Reigns, X-Pac, Cesaro, Seth Rollins and Batista and I noticed that it doesn't say first time the line here for X-Pac which is interesting as that was his very first Mattel figure as well uh, but it says compete in these superstar rings. Picture is a raw basic ring and SmackDown basic ring, as well as company information listed at the bottom. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. All right, guys. So here we have the Mattel WWE Elite Series 33 Junkyard Dog Flashback figure, fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say it's a really cool figure. Um, I don't know a whole ton about Junkyard Dog, and I've seen obviously some matches with him. And know of him uh, but I think this figure is really cool and I love the dog collar uh, chain accessory as they did make it a metal chain which is really cool um, it's a nice uh, accessory especially if you want to recreate the match that Rusev and Cena uh, recently had the Russian chain match or whatever it was called uh, so you could use it for that too which is cool um, it is removable as I'll show you uh, so let's take a look at Junkyard Dog up close. Here's his chain. And, uh, I have him holding on to here. He'll let go. There we go. Um, it is a metal chain, which is really cool. It has weight to it, as you can see. It's just a really cool accessory. And uh, it does have a little button that goes around his neck um, for the collar to latch on. And you just pull here and it unwraps. You can see the detail uh, in the collar which is cool. It has a little strap and even the little holes where it would technically be resized with the buckle. But as you can see there's a little uh, button there. And it just uh, locks into place like that. And there you go. So that's that accessory. Looking at him uh, here's his head scan. I think it looks just like him. They did a really good job. He's got his angry uh, facial expression there. You can see the detail in his facial hair and his hair. 
the ball jointed head that goes up and down as well as left and right. And uh, he has a typical elite ab crunch joint. He has ball jointed arms that go up and down as well as outward. And he has a swivel bicep joints, typical elbow joints, and a swivel wrist joint. As well as a hand joint that goes up and down. He has an open hand here as I showed you. So you could hold his uh, collar and chain if you wanted to. Looking at his lower torso, he has a swivel waist joint. He's got his uh, long white tights with wrinkles and other details that make them look authentic. It says uh, JY Dog on the side. And then it says Thump, as that was, I believe, his finisher um, on his rear there. He has uh, ball jointed legs that go up and down as well as outward. And he has a swivel thigh joint. You can see the other details in his tights, like the red and blue stars. And he has a typical elite double jointed knees, so you can pose him really well. And he has a swivel boot joint on his tall white boots. You can see the laces and the dog designs on both of them with the little stars. And then lastly, he has a typical elite ankle joint that goes up and down. Mine's really stiff. So I'm not going to force it and end up breaking it, um, but he also has the ankle joint here as well. So, yeah, it's a simple figure, but it's pretty cool. I think uh, his accessory makes it that much more worthwhile as well. Um, I know he's not too popular amongst the younger generation, because even myself, I don't know a, a whole lot about him since he was a little bit before my time. But it's still an awesome figure, and I highly recommend picking him up. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future views you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you next week. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com. That's crispy.